I'm Emily Mai with a look at news around the nation. The White House announced Monday that First Lady Jill Biden has tested positive for COVID-19, the most high-profile victim of the disease, which is surging across the country as the end of summer nears. That trend that is being seen in Arizona, too, as there were more than 3,400 new cases of COVID-19 reported just last week. And as our Ex Alexandria Cullen reports from Washington, experts think those numbers will continue to rise. Glad that Arizona has, has, is counting and has a, a count that they're comfortable with. Um, but I can assure you that that's an undercount. Um, there's probably more people out there who have been infected. According to Dr. Josh Michaud, the groups dealing with those infections are individuals who are not up to date on their vaccinations. If they're not up to date on their vaccines, in particular, they're at some risk uh, for uh, these severe complications. And many of the hospitalizations that we're seeing now uh, fall into those categories. The good news is that the COVID variant does not appear to be as lethal as previous versions. Interesting, I think, that that Omicron strain was far more transmissible than any other version uh, and far less lethal. Experts also said that people seem to be taking the threat seriously and getting vaccinated. Humble plans to get his booster next month. For people with medical conditions that put them at higher risk, yeah, there's things you need to do beyond just getting the booster shot. But for the general public, I think it's a matter of, you know, getting the booster while staying up to date on vaccines are important, there are other precautions you can take to avoid getting sick. Wearing masks in public places um, and being careful about how much time you spend in crowded locations uh, can you know, make a difference. 